Hello to all students. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss pedomorphosis. Pedomorphosis is a condition which usually takes place in amphibians and especially in salamanders, which are also known as newts. To understand the concept of pedomorphosis, first of all, we have to look at the life cycle of a salamander. So if we look at the life cycle of a salamander, usually female salamander lays an egg which after fertilization develops into larva and this usually happens in aquatic environment. After some time, larva after feeding develops into a larger size of larva. This larva can spend from many days to many years as an aquatic life and as in, in the form of larval stage. But later on in their life, they undergo a process known as metamorphosis and they change into adult form. First of all, smaller size larvae become larger size. Four limbs and hind limbs appear with a tail which has wings on the, on the tail which helps in to locomote in water. It also has three pair of gills, three on each side, which helps for respiration. And then larva undergoes into a larger size with more, four, more bigger forelimbs and hind limbs, tail with wings and have gills. At this stage, it can live for many years in the water. And it feeds on different planktonic species and algae in the water. Later on in their life, this larva can become an adult which do not have tail wings and also do not have gills. So this process is known as metamorphosis. But because we are going to study pedomorphosis, pedomorphosis is a condition in which larval form does not change into adult form. So usually during the process of metamorphosis, there are certain changes which takes place in the larval form under the influence of uh, hormones from thyroid gland. What are the changes which took place, which takes place during metamorphosis? Number one, closing of gill slits, which are openings for gills for, pro for process of respiration. Later on, loss of gills and tail fins during the process of metamorphosis gills are lost and also the tail fins are also lost eyelids develop in adult form mouth becomes wider tongue appear and also teeth are formed inside the oral cavity so these are some changes which takes place in the larval form to develop into an adult form and complete the life cycle of salamander but because we are going to study pedomorphosis so pedomorphosis is a condition in which larval form retain the characteristics of juvenile or larval form without being changed into adults. So if we look at the definition or word uh, literal meaning of pedomorphosis, pedo mean comb, morph mean form, cis mean condition. In this condition retention of larval characteristics takes place in sexually mature animals. Usually sexual reproduction and sexually maturity is achieved at adult stage. But because uh, in uh, pedomorphosis, the animal will stay in the larval form. So they attain the reproductive ability in larval form. So this is a special condition for pedomorphosis. Pedomorphosis can be divided into two types. Number one, obligate pedomorphosis and facultative pedomorphosis. During obligate pedomorphosis, always larval salamander always retain larval characteristics, which we have discussed over here, like forelimbs, hind limbs, gills, and fins on the tails. Never undergo metamorphosis and it never goes into adult form under the process of metamorphosis. Due to it is it can be due to some hormonal problem which we will discuss at the end of this lecture. Mud puppies like Nectarus maculosus can undergo obligate pedomorphosis. The other type of pedomorphosis is known as facultative pedomorphosis. During facultative pedomorphosis, animals retain larval characteristics. 
larval characteristics are retained as long as their environment which is which could be a pond habitat retain water if the if there is a water in the pond they will stay in the larval form and condition will be pedomorphic but sometime during the drought or hot weather pond become dry and water can evaporate completely from the pond and water will convert into mud and then later into land or terrestrial environment then what this larva is going to do it is going to metamorphose into adult form so when pond becomes dry they undergo metamorphosis and they change from larval form into adult form and they will lose their gills and their fins and other changes will take place in the body and they will develop into adult form and usually exaltal which is ambistoma mexicanum is a species which undergoes facultative pedomorphosis so pedomorphosis can also be discussed under a, a new heading which is known as neuteny neuteny new mean new neuteny is a type of pedomorphosis in which larval characteristics are retained but reproductive organs develop during this stage usually and uh, reproductive organs are developed in the adult stage and they are able to produce gametes like sperms and eggs but in neuteny or pedomorphosis sexual maturity and sex, uh, sexual reproduction can be attained in the larval body form so why this happen because uh, some of the tissues which are somatic tissues or non reproductive tissues do not develop properly and they become very slow and reproductive organs on the other hand they develop faster and they gain the ability of reproduction and sexual maturity so pedomorphosis which occurs due to delayed development of somatic which are non reproductive tissues so non reproductive tissues are development is delayed but normal development of reproductive tissue takes place and they attain the sexual maturity before changing into adult form so this condition is known as neuteny so what is the most probable cause of pedomorphosis and neuteny it is the major cause are hormones so i have discussed some causes over here number 1 tissues become unresponsive to hormone usually thyroid gland secretes hormones which Uh, which enable the animal to change into adult form with help of metamorphosis but the certain types of cells which usually metamorphose into adult they do not respond to hormones which are released by thyroid gland like t4 insufficient iodine in present in the diet can also lead to less production of hormones or faulty hormones which leads into which leads into failure of metamorphosis of larval form into adult form under activity of hypothalamus pituitary thyroid mechanism because all these glands pituitary gland hypothalamus gland and uh, and uh, thyroid gland they they work uh, together uh, to maintain the process of metamorphosis and uh, their under activity can also lead towards neuteny or pedomorphosis and uh, usually this happens in unfavorable condition when conditions are not favorable like uh, presence of water or absence of water diet food weather cold and summer and depending upon the type of the environment so in this condition which we discussed right over here which is known as pedomorphosis or neuteny larval body form of an animal like salamander rit retain the larval form with sexual maturity usually sexual maturity is achieved after converting into adult form but in the sexual maturity and ability to reproduce in the larval body form is known as pedomorphosis or neuteny that's all for today see you in the next lecture